Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Montego Bay, Jamaica. And when you think about the food of Jamaica, probably the number one food that comes to mind is Jamaican jerk. Jamaican jerk is a style of cooking meat. It's a blend of spices and herbs and marinade that goes into the meat. And I'll just be honest with you, it is a way of life. And so we are dedicating today to Jamaican jerk. And there's gonna be two simultaneous jerk events that are happening today. Number one is we have a whole pig, a whole hog, that my friend Andrew, who is a Jamaican jerk champion, he is gonna season, he's gonna give it his Jamaican jerk seasoning treatment. Number two is that we are gonna go to a place called the Pork Pit, who are jerk masters of Montego Bay, and one of the best places to eat jerk in Jamaica. There, we're gonna see their process of how they smoke the jerk, especially the jerk pork and jerk chicken. And we're gonna see their seasoning. This is gonna be an ultimate day of Jamaican jerk in Jamaica. Before we get started with the day, we're stopping for a quick snack. A quick snack, a Jamaican patty. <laughs> What's up, Andrew? Whoa, this place is huge. I don't know which one's a chicken or which one's a beef. Beef is the one. Beef is the one. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. We're actually on our way to the market, but yeah, we had to stop to get the juices flowing. We're having a Jamaican patty. Jamaican pa people are passionate about Jamaican patties. This is going to be my first time to try a Jamaican patty. <laughs> oh man! Going in, man. I've been waiting for this. This is awesome. So you get the the patties always come in a brown paper bag, two in one. And Matt and Andrew said, "There's no way you're eating one. You have to eat two at a time." Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Pull this guy out. And also the common thing to, is to eat it out of the brown paper bag. My first bite of a Jamaican patty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's like flaky, kind of like buttery crust. Meat in the center, this one's beef. And then just like, tastes a little bit of the spicy, tastes a little bit of the, the pimento, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of cinnamon, sweet cinnamon you taste that. So it's just ground beef that they season and put it in the crust and bake it. That's just straight like comfort food at its finest. Wow. As you keep on eating, the flavor actually gets better. I can understand why they're so popular like and it? why they're so addictive. Yeah, there's just nothing not to like about it. Even like on the edges, it's more crusty and flaky. <laughs> that is an addiction, like immediately out of the pack. I, I can't stop. <laughs> We're in the car. Ah, okay. Start of the market, but in the car I'm finishing up the chicken patty. A curry chicken patty is awesome too. I think I still prefer the chick, the beef. That's the original, but the curry chicken is delicious also. And again, you have to eat them fresh and hot. We're gonna be right here. Okay. <laughs> so because it's still really kind of rainy today, not a lot of stalls are open. A lot of stalls are kind of have some plastic over the vegetables and ingredients, but that's okay. A few places are open. Andrew is getting work to immediately. Uh, oh, I see that basket full of scotch bonnets. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> uh, Andrew, so do you prefer the, the orange and yellow ones as opposed to green ones? Yeah, because they, they give you a better flavor. Okay. Yeah, they, they carry more heat. Okay. Uh, scotch bonnets are essential, and scotch bonnets, they truly are one of the greatest peppers in the world too. Not only for their heat, but their amazingly fruity flavor. And then also some of that Jamaican ginger, some garlic. I know we're also gonna get some pimento, which is allspice berries. Oh, you fresh, can smell that thyme the immediately. Fresh thyme, yeah. Yes. And this thing named beetroot. Okay. This beetroot. made it juice. As soon as they pulled out that fresh thyme, the aroma of that herb, you can smell it so vibrantly. That's yes, one of the most vibrant aromas fresh scent. Yeah. Nice in scent. her entire shop. That probably has the most vibrant aroma, that fresh thyme. Also getting scallions, thyme, onions, garlic, scotch bonnets, everything is going into the jerk. We're just waiting on the pimentos now. Oh, pimentos, okay. Yeah. It's gonna be the dried pimento berries? Yes, yes. Okay, the berries. 
the secret ingredient for every jerk. And so then we just got a couple big bags of pimento, which is also known as allspice. They're the berries. They have a flavor that's similar to nutmeg, cinnamon, clove, all together in one just essential, essential berry. And you need it for Jamaican cuisine in almost every dish. But for jerk, without, without pimento, it's, it's no not jerk, jerk, right? It's not, it's not, not jerk. jerk. Exactly. It's like a spice of life in the Caribbean. Awesome, we got everything? Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Huh? Uh, too bad the weather is rainy today because otherwise we'd be walking around the market, but instead we're cruising around the market. <laughs> and I love it how Matt and Andrew just know like everybody throughout the market. <laughs> Do we need the... Yeah, we're gonna right eat now? those. We drove over to Pineapple Beach. It's a beautiful property, the grassy area. The trees were right next to the beach. You immediately smell the sea as you exit the car. This is not great weather. It's really windy. The seas are really high and rough and just cloudy and drizzling. But that's not gonna stop us from having this ultimate jerk day. We're getting ready to season the whole pig, Andrew. And by the way, Andrew is he won the jerk Jamaican jerk championship. He is a knowledge, a treasure chest of Jamaican jerk seasoning. And we're gonna be preparing the whole hog and roasting it here at Pineapple Beach. And the leaves are also used for the We roasting. use the leaves, yeah, in the roasting so the green leaves give off the smoke when it hits the fire. Ah. So when the fire hits the sm and it smokes, it flavors with the pimento flavor ah, okay. as well. So this is one of the most important culinary flavoring oh, and that leaf it's it is even the leaf smells similar to the berries almost the same it's very similar to the berries. cinnamony yeah cinnamony but like more refreshing the pimento by the way the pimento tree that produces the pimento berry or fruit or allspice berry is this an ot et yeah. an ot et or et ot interchangeable apples which is similar to a rose apple it's delicious i'll give it the shirt the shirt the shirt technique hmm. oh so so incredibly juicy might be one of the most juicy fruits so back here in this lean-to surrounded by bamboo poles uh this is the kitchen chef andrew is going to get started on the jerk marinade for we have a whole pig it's a suckling pig Andrew, what's this? This is the pork season, the dry rub. Ah, okay. Also, first it's a dry rub and then uh, the wet rub with yeah. the, like the blended, blended right fresh spices that right. you, you got. Okay. So this gives it the salt. Okay. All right. So she sits right here right now. Cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so he blended up big, like half a bag full of the allspice berries. Mm -hmm. uh, blended that up fresh. It's so aromatic, and then again, that goes straight onto the pig. Oh yeah, you can smell that's heavy that's on the scotch bonnet. Heavy on the scotch, dude. At least like, at least like 20 scotch bonnets. Plus the allspice, yeah. You've been into the jerk your whole life, yeah. probably, right? Yeah, For been sure. cooking, been doing For everything. Sure. So he coarsely chops up that thyme. It's so aromatic. Um, and now garlic goes in. Garlic gives it. It helps to tenderize the meat as well. Oh, that's usually what I think, Carol. <laughs> He 
just, uh, he added in the ginger, Jamaican ginger is known to be some of the strongest, some of the best. Again, it's so incredibly aromatic. Blended that all together with the pimento, with the scotch bonnets, um, and the garlic. And there's a bit of vinegar in here too. And then just poured it into this bowl. That just smells unbelievable. Because oh. these are so potent, you don't use a lot of it. So uh, you don't use onions? It. Yeah, onions. Ah, oh, so they're strong onions. Yeah. Okay. Improvise. Okay. Works. <laughs> In the second blender, he added scallions, onions, uh, and some more scotch bonnet. So that's like a layering of the scotch bonnet. And what's amazing about the jerk is that it's also a layering of the spice. So he first put on that dry rub, then the wet rub. So the dry rub sits there on the skin. And now the wet rub is just gonna like marinate into every single flush, every crevice, all those holes that he poked into it. And just as he pours in that marinade, you can just, the aroma of the pimento, of the thyme, of the garlic and onions, everything is there, everything is present. It's so powerfully aromatic. I almost cannot control my saliva right now. I have like allspice berries growing in my nostrils. This is the this is the setup that we're gonna use above ground style. Oh, Andrew's lighting the charcoal now and balancing on these stumps. So above ground, getting the heat and the smoke, and sitting on top of the pimento wood. Yeah, with pimento leaves with pimento leaves pimento as well. Leaves so that's gonna give that. it a fragrance as yeah. well. Fresh pimento yeah, leaves. Yeah. So typically now in Jamaica, because too much deforestation, too many cutting down of the pimento trees, usually sweet wood is used in the jerk preparation. But here on the property, there was a pimento tree that was already fallen, that had fallen down that uh, uh, like a while ago. And so it's already cut up. So we're actually gonna be able to use the pimento wood, which is the traditional way. That harmony of spices is just unbelievable. One of the great Jerking, and you can even use jerk as a verb, jerking is one of the great barbecue techniques of the world. And so of course the, the fire is on the ground below, the grate is on the stumps now, and then pimento wood, and then pimento leaves on top. This is the, the base for the pig. And I, already you can smell the aromatics of the, the pimento, the leaves, and the wood. Everything that's in the marinade. It's just gonna be layer upon layer of jerk seasoning and just aroma, fragrance, spice. Oh, and then set a fire on top here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might be water. Oh, no. There you go. It's not water. <laughs> what an incredible setup. And just the layers. So the pig went on top of the pimento leaves, then a grate, then a, like a zinc plate of metal, and then uh, start coals on top of that so that the fire burns on top of that. So it's getting heat from both the bottom, but the bottom is more like a smoke because it's, uh, it's less direct. It's not like a very harsh heat. It's gonna get smoked, um, but then the heat also from the top. And so that's gonna all just like bundle in there. Everything is like directing itself towards the pig and the pimento. The jerk pig is gonna roast for four to five hours. Uh, but from here, we are gonna drive back into Montego Bay and we're going straight to the pork pit, which is, it really is one of the best places in Jamaica for jerk pork. Um, and they do it in a huge way. We're gonna see the whole grill. We're gonna get a little bit of a jerk snack before coming back here in a few hours to to reconnect with the jerk pig. Oh, 
Oh yes, step out of the van. You can immediately can smell, smell the smell jerk. That. Yes, <laughs> smokiness. And when you're in Montego Bay, look for the massive, the massive cotton, tree. cotton tree right in the center. That's the landmark you know you're at the port pit. Yeah, just take a look at the size of this cotton tree, the stump. The diameter has to be like meters across. What is your name? I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Oh, Mark. Mark. I'm Mark also. Yeah, Mark? Yes. Yeah? Oh, yes. Wow. Nice to meet nice you. To nice to meet you. Yeah. We're in the pit now, and it is just an unbelievable. It's just, it literally is a smoldering, smoking sea of pig parts. That are It's like a very low, very subtle smoking heat. Uh, because as you can see with the whole construction, again, like, like we did at, uh, with the whole pig, um, it's a layering system and so there's shelves. So the coals reside below and actually in the back there, there's an entire, uh, there's like a furnace of coals going. So when, the, when they, he every now and then replenishes the coals to replenish the heat, but it's a tray of coals on the bottom. And then the next layer, the next shelf is uh, wood that goes down an entire layer of wood. And if actually, if you put your ear close down to the grill there, to that smoldering grill, you can hear kind of the, the hiss of both that wood kind of like smoldering with that heat as well as the juices from the pork just kind of seeping out. Um, and then that entire planks, the, the, the poles of wood are just topped with just, just like pieces, chunks of pork that have been marinated in an all of that jerk seasoning. And Matt was explaining to me that the, the pork here at the pork pit, it actually marinates for a week. A week, that jerk seasoning is just like seeping into the meat before it ever goes on the grill. And then again, it's just a short, it's just a long, long grill process. So the smoke goes into it. Layer upon layer of jerk, unbelievable process. Pork is your, your meat of choice, but chicken is also available on this grill. So two grills going constantly, all the time. Unbelievable process. Oh, you have a barbecue sauce also? But that's like a special barbecue sauce? Yeah. Only a, like special, if you special ask for it, right? See with the ginger and Yeah. yeah. Then the process is you go inside and you make your order, you pay inside, then you come outside to the grill, to the pit, you hand mark your receipt, and then he gets your meat, whatever you paid for, you get, you get the pork, you get the chicken, he chops it up fresh, boxes it, and then you take it to a seat to eat. So we just got our order. I look for a nice juicy one for you. Oh, yeah, thank man. you. Yeah, man. Mark's choosing us the juiciest of all juices. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Nice you got festival. rice and peas, pepper shrimp. Pepper shrimp. We got the food, we got the rice. Matt also ordered some pepper shrimp. There's some festival, which are fried dough sticks. There's some bami. We got the jerk chicken and we got the <laughs> jerk pork. And, okay, I just have to... I have to begin with that jerk pork. He chops it up, slices it up. You can get fatty pieces, you can get uh, more meaty, lean pieces. But if you just take a piece, take a nugget, and look at that marinade, that seasoning, that jerk, that jerk rub spice blend mixture. You guys, get in on here. Get in on here. Oh. Oh, wow. Wow. That jerk is unexplainably tasty. Let's see that ring around it. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good. My favorite place to eat, man. Favorite place on the island to eat. It's the smokiness. It's the 
pimento, that allspice, you taste the thyme in there, the garlic ginger, all those essential jerk seasoning spices. And it's just a fusion of goodness. It's a fusion of Jamaica. Yeah. That's all it is. It's just Jamaica. It's Jamaica in one, in one bite. One bite. And one more step to the perfect pork pit jerk experience. This, what do you call it? This is pepper sauce. sauce. Pepper sauce. sauce. Scotch bonnet pepper sauce. And the pro move? The pro move, take off the top. Yeah, you don't want to eat. That's way too small of a hole. That's way too small of a hole at the top. The chunk, you want the chunks. You want the chunks of the scotch bonnet pepper the mixed scotch up bonnets. in the sauce. Oh, yes. I want as much. Ch that's what you are looking for. The chunkiness, the bulk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Go back in for a, a nugget, a nugget of jerk. <laughs> Look at that. Look. Look at that piece. And I'm gonna use that to scoop up the scotch bonnet. And actually I'm gonna have to grab another piece of pork to, to <laughs> scoop on as much chunk. Scotch bonnet chunk and garlic. Okay. There's I need a little juice to top it off. A little more juice to And that, there you have one of the greatest bites of jerk. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. Layer upon layer of flavor. That sauce is unbelievable. <laughs> so good. The sauce Ew. is ridiculous. The ginger barbecue sauce. This is ginger glazed barbecue sauce layered on flavor. Mm. Mm. Jamaica has the best ginger. I mean, put it on ribs. Oh my God. Okay, barbecue ribs time. Yeah. Actually, the ginger is the first thing you taste. That barbecue sauce is incredible. Tender, smoky ribs. Mmm. And, and then, yeah. All, we make all our sauces here. Barbecue the and sauces all. Sauces are healthy. incredible. We make them here. Awesome. It's like a, a sweet, tangy barbecue sauce. But ginger is like the first taste that you actually taste. Mmm. Finger licking. Sweet banana? Plantain. Okay, and now to switch up the meatiness of my mouth, I'm gonna try the fried plantain. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. I love fried plantain too. Like the, yeah, the sweet and sourness of it. It's ripe, and then the texture, it's almost like oozy on the inside. Mmm. This is the green, green plant. It is green plantain, right? Yeah, it's green plantain. So green plantain, so it's not, not sweet, but then uh, the pieces are squished into like patty formations and I believe fried. Yeah, I love it. More starchy, much more starchy than the sweet version. And again, like in that pepper sauce, it is outstanding. Okay, we gotta try the chicken still. <laughs> Yeah. The moistness and juiciness is preserved because of that style of cooking. And that sauce, that drinkable, just like infinite supply of that sauce. Just ring everything out in here. <laughs> ring it, you wanna ring it out. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. Like gushes with fatty juices, and then that jerk seasoning, and then that scotch bonnet pepper. That's actually a flavor. You just want to tuck into your cheek and keep it forever. Once you start eating, you cannot even stop. Approximately eight minutes later, the entire everything we had that was full on the table has been reduced to a few chicken bones and a few empty Scotch Bonnet sauce bottles. Uh, we're going back to Pineapple Beach uh, where the whole, whole pig jerk is still going to be slow roasting away. That's coming next. How's it coming along, Andrew? Should be ready in a few. Dude, the hundred. Good. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. 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 Falling through on its right. own. Yeah, the <laughs> bone is falling off yeah. over here. Yeah. Oh, that's cracked it right here. Oh, oh no, that's a leaf. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh the aroma of those pimento leaves. Um, he's adding a bit more charcoal, stoking up the fire, but it's coming very soon. And that th this entire beach, actually probably everybody downwind from us in Jamaica can smell that. Okay, so Andrew is just rebasting it with the final. <laughs> just pouring on that jerk paste, the wet rub. One more just full, full layer of jerk seasoning. Last turn. Oh boy. All right. It is ready. This is the moment we've all been waiting for all day. I had to put your hand in the butt. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, we're not going to put your hand in the butt. Careful. <laughs> Try the first piece, or should I? You, <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah, man. Andrew, dude, oh my gosh, been waiting, been waiting hours for this. Been waiting a lifetime. <laughs> Mm. What? Yeah, okay. You've got to be kidding me. That is. Just <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, the best part. Wow. That's just insanely juicy. And the, like, yeah, the skin, the fat, the meat, the pimento, the thyme, that jerk. The scotch bonnet wow. pepper. Wow. Me, right? <laughs> <laughs> right? Of course, me. me. Oh, wow. Chop it. Chop it. Chop it. Chop it's crazy. Jamaican jerk. This one? Me? This is a whole leg bone. A whole leg bone? Oh man. Okay, it's just, it just went right. break. It just rips apart. It <laughs> <laughs> rips apart. Dude. <laughs> Take a whole leg bark. <laughs> Anybody feel free to come come have a bite right off of here. <laughs> Mm, the pimento. Mm. Oh wow. The smokiness. The drumstick. Mm. <laughs> Cheers again, man. Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> Cheers, man. Yeah. This is a Jamaican party. But the thing is, it, the flavor has penetrated all the way down to the bones. It is unreal. Thanks for coming out, man. Yeah, man, cool, man. And I, and I thought we were gonna have the entire pig has just been devoured in about 10 minutes, but there's some of that some of that rub, some of that jerk seasoning left over on that banana leaf. <laughs> <laughs> With the pork fat mixed into it, the pimento that time. Man of the match, so Chef Andrew. <laughs> well done, man. Thank you. Just bump, please bump. <laughs> <laughs> We ended up just hanging out at Pineapple Beach. Such an amazing group of people. So much fun to hang out. So laid back. People with such big hearts. And I wanna say a big thank you to Andrew, Chef Andrew. Again, he is the jerk. He's a jerk champion of Jamaica. And that jerk was unbelievable. That, that just every component, every spice that went into it, and then the method, the style, the smokiness, the juiciness was unbelievable. And Matt 
the food boss from Jamaica Food Tours. He is just an amazing, an amazing guy. Matt, thank you. And so that's gonna be it for this video. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this entire Jamaica food series. If you haven't seen all the videos, I'll have the link in the description box. Check that out. Check out all the amazingly delicious Jamaican food. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe for lots more food and travel videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Good night.